Hey, sorry I made you come all the way back up here. I would just like it up here better than the sanctuary. You can see the sky up here, you know? But you still could have just flown up. <laughs> no, no, no. Last time I did that, Unabeth got all kinds of mad and sent me to a battle tower. <laughs> Don't take it personally. She gets that way sometimes. Usually when there's not a lot of joy in the world, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. She told me what happened. Well, what she knows about what happened. People dying, Hexilia getting pissed off about it and making walkers. Wait, and... what? She said Hexilia made the walkers? Well, she said they had Hexilia's breath of life or whatever in them, except wrong? Well, of course they do. Everything that's alive has Hexilia's mark on it. It's a walkers. Hexilia couldn't have made those. They're dead. They're... Ah, crap. What? I don't know. Maybe it's nothing. I have to go check on some stuff, but, um... You want to hear about the time Trinable and Quantum kicked my ass? Okay, random, but sure. <laughs> okay, so I was going around doing, you know, sky stuff, putting up stars and all that. And I was checking out the ground and thinking it was coming along really well, except this one bit over here. It, you know, it looked kind of dry and shrivelly, and the plants didn't look so green, right? <laughs> And Trinable was up, off doing Earth stuff, so I didn't want to bother them, and Quantum was off doing sea stuff, so I didn't want to bother him, and I thought, hey, what the hell? How hard could it be to make rain? Quantum was always handing me clouds to hang up all over the place, I knew how he made it rain, so why bother him or Trin when I could just... Oh, this ended badly, didn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, turns out it's not that hard to make a cloud and make rain come out of it. Making a stop is another story. Oh, no. Oh, it gets better. It further turns out that, that dry, shrivelly place was something Trin was working on. It was something they called the savannah. And they'd been working on all these plants that could live without water, and they'd been working on this thing forever. And then here I came and flooded the thing and ruined all their dry plants and everything. Oh, man. Mud, and it was just a big, wet mess. So then Trin was mad because I messed up their savannah, and then Quantum was mad because I had to pull them off a of sea stuff to come turn off the cloud, and long story short, I got the crap kicked out of me because I was dumb and trying to do something that wasn't my job. Wait, so you think that's what's happening? Unabeth said Hexilia got pissed off because none of y'all made death. That's right. So wait, if it's not her job, and it's not any of yours, then Like I said, I'm not sure. I need to go check on some stuff. As for whose actual job it is... Not sure about that either. But I'm wondering if maybe Hexilia did a little too good a job when she made humans. <laughs> no offense, son. But you're not from Hexile, so that wouldn't apply to you anyway, right? Hmm. Hey, you know, people in Beacon City are buzzing about that tower you took down, right? Uh, yeah. I kind of noticed that. And they keep talking about some Stump Elda character. What's up with that? Well, no surprise there. Stump Eld is the only person who's ever taken down a battle tower. Well, till now. Huh, couldn't think of it. Hey, have you died since you've been here? Oh, God, that's what started this whole mess with Creative and Unabath and battle towers. Can you not? <laughs> but you came back okay. I mean, yeah, you lose your stuff if you're not quick enough to get back to it, but you're still you. You didn't come back as a walker or anything. Well, yeah. Yeah, just like Stump Eld. Listen, I need to go look into some stuff, but there might be some books down in the library that'll tell you a little about Stump Elder. Oh, um, did you check all these chests up here? Um, yeah, I did. Are you sure? Maybe you better check them again, just in case. Well, I, oh, okay. Oh my god, my Hoonabath helmet! <laughs> <laughs> well, not exactly, but it's the same stuff. And I'm pretty sure you have to kill mobs with that scythe to fix it, you know? Not just poke on them. And if you're not gonna go creative and fly down, would you at least put those boots on and jump? They'll soft the landing for you. Oh, man. Oh. Hey. Thanks. I don't mention it. That's the least I could do for you, cleaning out my temple and all. But, uh, I'll let you know if I find anything interesting out. Meanwhile, I'm thinking it might be a good idea to see if you can find Trin. You've seen those giant trees, right? There's one by the battle tower you took out, and then I think there's another one attached to a little town or something down south. But you'll need to find three of them. And I don't know off the top of my head where another one is. 
Okay, well, I'll keep an eye out then. Thanks, Jawazric. No match. Take care. Well, Geronimo! <laughs> That's awesome! Whee! Oh, I, I, I will try really hard not to lose these, do I promise. I guess this is the library he was talking about? Um, you know what? Just uh, be on the safe side. There we go. Okay, so, um, these books then. Woo! Uh, hmm. I wonder. I'm gonna need some dirt and or snow. Or, I could just... Well, nothing particular up there, but... Ooh. Huh. I wonder... <coughs> Excuse me. Um... Let's see. Um, okay, boots make it difficult to nerd pull. Um, can I get up there? Not quite. How about here? Ah, there we go. Hmm, I don't suppose I have an axe on me. No, of course I don't. Um, oh. Huh, there's a little uh, alcove up there. Let's see. Um Ah Thank you, Space. Wonder if I can get up there. It's gonna be a little tricky. I have to uh just pull some of this out. There we go. Okay, that should do it. Oh no! Um, hmm. Up. Okay. There we go. There we go, and... Oh. Huh. Let's see, what, uh... Song of the Potato Born. Listen now, young and old. To this tale that is told of a hero with starch in her blood? With the heart of a dragon and face like a spud? W um, that's not very flattering. What's this? What I want to be when I grow up, an essay by Torvin the Younger, age seven. I want to be an adventurer like Stumpelda, even though she is a girl and not a very pretty one at that because she is strong and beats up bad monsters and does not take any something from anyone. F, we do not use bad words in essays. See me after class. Oh, sorry, Torvin the Younger. Um, what's this? Twelve Quadober, 831. It is done. The treasure storage tower is commissioned by his members to King Octopus are complete. After the king's men have moved in the treasures, I shall install the guardians. Never again will his majesty be troubled by bandits. I must put the finishing touches on the guardians tonight, and then I shall spend a bit of my new fortune on a feast fit for a royal alchemist what saved all the king's valuables from grabby hands. Well, that sounds familiar. Uh, sounds a little like the battle towers. <coughs> What over? King's men are transporting all manner of goods to the tower now. I'm preparing the ritual that will bind the guardian. I am so good at this. I am really amazing. Oh, my deities, you don't even know. <laughs> Later, the ritual is done. Let any bandit try to steal the king's treasure. If any shall survive the spawn cages, the guardian will smash him into a fine red paste. King Optimus and Queen Jugsy are so happy they have given me a small keep and a cow and some other stuff. Oh, good for you. 27 Pentember. Amazing news, it seems other monarchs have heard of my work with the treasure towers and have commissioned me to create towers for their valuables as well. Ah, uh, no wonder I'm finding these things all over the place. News of my astonishing achievement has even reached past the wall in the north. Tomorrow I travel to Wolf's End to discuss Duke Sam's tower plans. 24 Pentember. Busy. 12 Hexember. So busy. 12 more towers built. Who knows? Yet to plan. 
20 Herklimmer. I am a rich man. Yes, I am. I sleep in money. I eat money. Am I drunk? Why, yes, I am. Because I am so rich. Deploy golem. Get money. Holla. <laughs> okay. Hangover. Buying every vacant <laughs> city. Oh, God. For something, Ember, I received a royal summons from King Octomus today. The letter said nothing about the reason. I am, suppose I am to be knighted for my work on his treasure tower. I leave at first light tomorrow. Twelve whatever. I am not being knighted. They have put me in the tall tower. It seems the king sent his men to fetch a bauble from the tower, and the man never returned. The guardian took him for a thief, they said. And asked how the guardian is to tell Fred from the bow, or how the king's men might temporarily disable the guardian. And these are things I did not consider in my design. <sighs> Yeah, that, um, that explains a lot. Yeah, it really does. Um, there is no means to disable the Guardian, nor pass it by, nor open the penultimate chest in the tower without incurring its wrath. Tomorrow I am to be sent to the tower to retrieve the king's... the words, receive, retrieve the king's bauble, or die trying. I regret every... Th oh, God. Poor guy. Okay, what's in here? Fall of the Treasure Tower at Welsh Words. Welshish Words in Eyewitness Account by Irma the Elder. It has been two score years since that quack of a royal alchemist built that deity pounded treasure tower, sarcasm quotes, on the outskirts of the Shire, and in that time of the twenty strong warriors sent in to retrieve the Baron's good, none have survived. The Baron first offered a small share of the treasure to any who could best the tower's massive guardian, then he offered half of the treasure. Finally, in desperation, he issued a proclamation that such a warrior could, quote, keep all the bloody loot for all I care, just get rid of this bloody eyesore and these bloody bleeding spawners what keep puking monsters out the doors and windows of the bloody damn thing, end quote. And this proclamation stood for five full years, and still the tower and its guardians stood unscathed. But today, the ta today, today, <laughs> the tower lies in ruins, emptied of its contents and cleared of its unholy tenants. Only the death of the Guardian can topple the tower, so what I write here must be true. Round a fortnight past, a warrior woman came to the Shire asking after some work. After much hesitation, the local barman told her of the tower, but warned her none had survived its perils. The woman's name was Stumpelda, and she was dressed in fine clothing and carried a very large sword. She was also shaped a bit like a potato, but never mind that rude! At dawn, Stumpelda set off for the tower, and we thought that would be the last we saw of her. But late that evening, we heard the thunderous sound of thousands of tons of stones falling to earth, and we knew the tower had fallen. Several of us, including yours truly, hurried to the scene. We stayed well back from the still-falling stone bricks, but through the dust of the fallen tower, we saw a lone figure walking away. Back turned to us, and laden with three heavy-looking backpacks, stuffed to bursting. Free hand in the air, with middle finger extended. And as she walked, she chanted a foreign word over and over. It sounded something like, quote, Nope, 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 end quote. We know not what the word or the gesture mean, but in the Shire we have adopted them as something of a call for bravery in the face of certain death. Nope to you, stop Elda, wherever you may be. <laughs> um, that's, that's not what that means, <laughs> but you know what, whatever. <laughs> All right. Let's find this last one here. Book Stumpelda's potato salad slice. What is it with Stumpelda and potatoes? Five pounds potatoes boiled to tender, drained salt and set aside. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with potatoes. I love potatoes. Crack three fresh eggs into a bowl. Beat vigorously while slowly adding three cups of fine veg oil. Then three the best vinegar. It's a recipe. Okay. Huh. Well, that that tells me some things. But, geez, um, not a whole lot of things, but things. <laughs> so, uh, I guess I need to go. I hear a skelly. Okay. So, I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing there. But, I'm supposed to go and check out that tree. Which I will do now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I go, I left some loot back here. Boy, these boots are handy. Thank you so much to Osric. I love these. Whee! Can I? Oh, yeah. There we go. Ah, no more fall damage. Oh, they don't seem to have a durability on them either. As such. Okay. 
Um, where is my big white backpack? There it is. Is there anything left in it? Oh yeah, there's quite a bit left in it. So let's just put this stuff in. Can't put a backpack in a backpack, unfortunately. Uh, put these diamonds in. This. That. Those. That. 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 Definitely that. Um, cool. I don't particularly need this wool. Actually, I probably should have um, left it to help fix Duazric's temple. Uh, well, potatoes. I'll take those for good luck. It seems that potatoes are, are a thing. <coughs> so, <laughs> I'll take them. Okay. Well, now let us go. Before I go check out that tree, I, you know, Duazric didn't really say what I'm supposed to do when I get there. Maybe I need to climb it. I think that might be what I need to do, and I guess I might need to make an axe. I may have to break down and do some tinker stuff. There is a really strange building here. Is that, is that bedrock? No, it's not bedrock. But, huh. No, nothing here of note. Whee! Looked like there might be a chest in it, but there wasn't. And there's one other strange little building I'd like to look at right here. Oh, that's another little testificate house. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take some more potatoes, just because I can. I'll plant them again, don't worry. Oh, there's a poison potato. I, somehow I get the feeling that those are sacrilegious. Oops. Oh, right. Um, yeah, let me just, uh, do I have some torches left? I don't. Alright, well. Okay, well, good luck with that, guys. Sorry. All right, so back towards the battle tower that I took down, and yeah, I mean, there's um this one here. That's the one to the south. That, look at my steps, jeez. That's the one to the south that Duazric was talking about, and that's the one I'm going to go to first, I think. Oh, there's another testificate village there. It looks like there's another battle tower there. What the hell is that? I thought I saw an icy battle tower up this away. Looks like there's a battle tower there. Yeah, these things are everywhere. Jeez. Okay, actually, um, you know what? We're gonna go go to this one first. It seems a bit closer. So we're gonna head over there. And thank you for these cloud boots. Oh my god, I know I can't stop talking about the boots, but Oh, they are so nice. Oh, there's a little bit of a... Oh, they don't seem to be losing any durability, so good. Oh. Oh, I'd, I'd rather not go walking through there. There's a skelly there. Whee! Hello, polar bear. Ah, there we go. Oh, there it is. Rhinoceroses. Yeah, it's raining. What is this? Night bloom. Okay. Oh, it stopped raining. Good. Okay, so there is... I hear skellies. Oh. Well, at least it's not walkers this time. I can handle skellies. Another battle tower in the water. There's the tree. Well, I think... Oh, hello. There's a, some kind of a sewer there. Oh, something happened to that tree. Well, I think I'm going to have to probably... Uh-huh. Deal with this first. Oh, that's a sheep. Ah! Look out, sheep! Look out! Look out! Yep, lots of skeletons. 
Looks like there's a zombie down there. And possibly another skeleton. These are not normal skeletons, though. This is weird. Okay. Oh, God! Die, die, die. Look out, sheep! There's gotta be a way up into uh, the town there. Sounds like they're burning to death up there, too. Hey, friend. Where are all these skellies coming from? Oh my, oh my god! Just up and spawned right in front of my face! Ugh! Hey, 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 hey! Okay, so how does one get through here? Ugh. What a hot mess this is. This is disgusting. Why does there always have to be a sewer level in this stuff? Oh, there we go. Nope, that's just a torch. But this appears to be daylight. Ah, there's the problem. Ah, hello. Oh, whoop de doo Oh, there we go. Whoa, what is that? That's a healer. Well, I'm going to, um... Oh, there's some loot there. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, whoop de doo Okay, folks, well, it's been an eventful and long day. So I'm going to just uh, kind of sit up here and dry out for a little bit, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.